Hello everyone, Maurice Singh here. Welcome to Tanks Invest, where we're going to be talking about investing, finance, and professional development. For today's videos, for and term purposes only, the investments we're going to talk about today will be Bitcoin, ticker BTC. As you know, across the board for today, as of May 19th on Wednesday, uh, we had been of a, a flash crash across the board for a lot of the cryptocurrencies. For Bitcoin, I think at one point, it was down about 30%. For Ethereum, I believe it was down about 45% at one point earlier this morning, around like the 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock time period. And that's also the simultaneous time period when Coinbase, the app that I was using to buy or sell cryptocurrency, crashed. So, as you know, you saw my video that I posted, you know, basically try to get my frustrations out to the public and also try to address that for people to obviously be aware of this you know huge manipulation problem that we're currently having with you know robin hood you cannot buy coinbase you cannot sell so how can you even you know manage this this is just so unacceptable but anyway so i'm gonna go through a technical analysis to go through where i see bitcoin going from here here right now it seems like we rebounded based on how we see so far on the chart but is this more like a dead cat bounce or are we seeing more of a downward sideways or are we seeing more of an upward trend going forward are we hitting the bottom already so i'm gonna go through that and i'm also gonna give you guys some resistance level to look out for in case you want to buy into bitcoin i tried to buy bitcoin but i actually missed out on the bottom because coinbase didn't allow me to even though i been eyeing the level for such, such a long time now with my previous analysis that i've done for the past couple of days that i was waiting and anticipating for this and then coinbase failed me and my price target for a year end 2021 as well so stay tuned stick around let's make some money All right, so moving on to Bitcoin ticker BTC. Looking at a daily chart right now on a minute perspective, you can see that ever since the morning, uh, you know, last night, basically around 11, and then we subsequently consolidated, consolidated globally. And then as we hit that early morning, uh, early risers, the 7 a.m. Eastern time, we sold off once, and that scared the shit out of people and subsequently bounced back up. And then immediately a huge flash crash that got the, the, the price down all the way to the $32,000 level. And then that one more that cat bounce and then subsequently would drag all the way to that $30,000 level. And this was mainly driven by human emotions. You can see that right here. This was basically comprised by a lot of, oops, sorry, so sorry. Comprised by a lot of small retail investors, but subsequently a, a couple big whales that dumped that you could see that major red candles here. These are major red candles that was dumped by institutional investors and subsequently one major investor is bought in at the $32,000 level, which is the number price point of that, that I got and actually bought in about um, half a Bitcoin today. Uh, about like, I just put about like $15,000 and that subsequently bounced back up and then subsequently went back down again because of this like, you know, just very bearish chart overall. like downward bounced up because of the dead cat bounce bounce back down you can see that the the macd and the rsi has been just kind of out of whack you can see right and ever since then once we hit that bottom which was the 52 days moving average like i said like thirty thousand dollars which is a strong resistance level that we've been forming historically that we basically rally back up and now we're basically trending sideways you know basically close to testing around like the 37 38 i think we're close to testing 40 again so I got pretty lucky. I bought about half a Bitcoin earlier today. So I'm already making some gains. But long term wise, you know, if you talk about like this couple weeks ago, I'm down right now. But I mean, that's more like a paper loss rather than an actual loss. So again, on a daily perspective, you could see that the crash was pretty predictable, right? You could see that with respect to this, um, you know, resistance line that I drew here and in my previous videos, we roll up because of the whole euphoric pump that we got from Elon Musk, from Dogecoin and Ethereum and, and just like the Coinbase IPO that subsequently pump, pumped this stock, uh, not stock, the price upward to the $65,000 level and then sold off, scare some people away with this dead cat bounce. And ever since then, you know, with a lot of the scare from Bitcoin um, being, you know, unutilized by obviously Tesla and and some news coming from China saying they potentially are thinking about banning Bitcoin or, you know, lack, you know, minimizing their utilization because of the power usage that you need to sustain to, 
you know, both mine Bitcoins and also to sustain Bitcoin utilization at the same time, that the energy efficiency is not uh, ideal uh, for the environment that subsequently drove it even more of a scare sell off. So this was a, definitely a, a, a crash, but a more of a flash crash rather than like a full on market crash per se. So this is again, right, driven by mainly human emotions, right? So right now we're testing this uh, this average line right here on this uh, resistance line. Like I said in my previous video, the $30,000 is a very strong resistance level. We subsequently bounce back up. You can see that right now on the MACD, we're pretty much on a downward trend right now. Uh, so look at this on a one hour chart. You can see that right now we, are, we bounce from the 29, basically a little bit below the 30K level, which is like a strong psychological resistance level. So we're currently bouncing up right now. But overall, you can see that the MACD is currently slowly crossing. RSI is highly overbought on a one hour chart right now. So what I see going from here is more like a sideway consolidation going forward from here, right? It's going to take some time for us to go back to, up to the $64,000, right? So you could see that how long did it take us to get there? So we were here at January. So it took us about four months to get to the 64. So to basically to double, it took us about like four months and whatever goes up like that fast, it typically takes about two to three times of time duration for us to get back to original level after the crash, right? Whatever goes up really fast, comes down really fast, but it takes like double or triple amount of time for us to get back up there, right? So I think today was definitely a good price for us to get in. I definitely bought in, I again, right? I bought in half a Bitcoin today. So I put in about, at that time, like 15,000, Fifteen thousand dollars of my own money, and it's it's been up right now. Um, uh, but what I go foresee going forward is gonna be some sideways consolidated movement. Knowing the fact on a daily perspective, despite we are up right now from the from the bottom, that the MACD is still crossed down. The RSI is down right now, but we because of the fact that the R the MACD is relatively newly crossed, that it's gonna take some time for us to reverse back up. So I foresee us a little, a little bit more sideway movement until you know obviously the macd further normalized going forward and then the rsi kind of subside as well that um eventually we will have some sort of like a consolidation and then some sort of like a scoop upward uh and then sell off a little bit more before we bounce back upward uh so that's what i think is going to happen going forward but don't take my advice i'm not a financial advisor but that's what i think is going to happen psychologically knowing the fact that we have sold, sold off so significantly right now. And right now, I think the $39,000 is more like a dead cat bounce, to be honest, knowing the fact that this basically happened several times. Um, and the next resistance level that we need to watch out for is currently right now. The reason we're forming it right here is because we consolidated for quite some time, right? In the last couple uh, couple months ago, around like the $29,000, uh, $30,000 level before we rally up. And that was like a strong base. But the next base is really like a steep fall, which is the next level right here at the $24,000 level, which is another, um, if you're buying now, that could be like a $10,000 drop from here. But that's unlikely, right? Because it doesn't just fall like that, you know, knowing the fact that we would we crash by like 40% already for us to get down even more to a 60% crash. That would just require a lot more uh, corporation to be selling. I don't think institutional, uh, ins I, I don't think consumer or retail investors can sustain that level of uh, drop uh, with the amount of uh, supply that they, they own. So the only effects that can be dr driving this more so further sell off would be institutional uh, ownership. So, but I don't think that's gonna happen knowing the fact that we did get bought up pretty quickly and look at the candles real quick. You can see that the, the candles are pretty big. So these are, and the volumes are pretty big as well. So these are institutional investors with, I would say it's more like a 70-30 ratio in terms of like institutional investors versus like retail investors as buying up right now. Um, so definitely appetize around that perspective. So if I was you right now, um, I think you kind of missed the boat a little bit right now, just based on, the trend line, if I expand this all a little bit more, we were basically testing the trend line before right here at the $30,000 level, which I, which is around where I got in. Uh, if we don't, if we break that again, the next level is gonna be $24,000 level, right? Which will be just a steal if we get there. I think I'll buy probably another 
half a Bitcoin or maybe buy one whole Bitcoin from there. If, if, if we get down to that case, that would be like a 70, 65% sell off from there. But going forward, I think we are going to be, um, you know, dead cat bounce up a little bit and then trade sideways and then down again. And by that point, I think the MACD and the RSI is going to be so oversold that it's going to bounce to reverse curve. And the, the curve is going to be pretty drastic, similar to how it looks like right here. So go up, go down, and then rally up again. But it's not going to be this short in duration. It's going to be double of that. So that's what I'm going to see from here. So go down again, go up, and then go up again. And I think that's going to duration sometimes around like October or, or November or December time period in Q4. Um, <clears throat> basically, doubling or tr tripling, even like, stretch out all the way to 2022 as well. Sometimes around like Q4 or Q1 or even like the earliest in Q2 uh, that we'll see a significant rebound from here uh, uh, that we'll get to that point. So again... Um, bearish at the moment because i do foresee a, a bounce down but right now is a good time for us dollar, dollar cost average for long-term gains perspective okay so just to recap on all the numbers that we talked about in our technical analysis i think bitcoin currently at the 39 500 level um i think that's a fair price to get into uh but just know that coinbase is gonna screw you over <laughs> so um Good luck trying to grab those prices at those level. Um, it's highly manipulated. Um, it's frankly just a little disheartening, to be honest with you, knowing the fact that I've been a Coinbase subscriber, um, a user for such a long time. Now I've been buying Bitcoin ever since you know it was at the seven thousand dollars level. So, and for us to be crashing, and I think I'm trying to be empathetic at the same time because you know I guess it's more user going onto the to the platform server might not be able to sustain the demand for the the traffic in the website so definitely crash the website but still unacceptable right because like you talk about people's money right here I, I i love to understand and see the studies around like the opportunity cost of how much they lost or how much investors have lost uh just because of the crash itself right i think it's enormous i'm talking i think it's going to be in like the billions uh which to be honest with you, I don't think they are able to withstand that lawsuit liability that they will have. Uh, so again, thirty nine five hundred that that could be a fair level to get it for you for you to get into. Uh, the res true resistance level is gonna be like the thirty five thousand dollars level, like I mentioned again um, in the resistance chart. And if you were one of those lucky ones that got into the flash crash earlier this morning at ten a.m. eleven a.m. Eastern time. Um, I wish I got into this level um, and I hope that with respect to how the chart is being set up right now, I hope that the dead cap bounce is going to come in true to realization. I would totally grab up a lot more. Uh, I'd probably even buy a whole Bitcoin. I know I bought half a Bitcoin today. Uh, so with respect to 12 months target, I think 9,500 that's fair. Knowing the fact that I think even Kathy Wood, she uh, on Bloomberg report earlier today, she said like she's still confirm on her 500k target in the future so i'm being very conservative in comparison to kathy's uh, assumptions here right and if you buy now that will give you like 141 percent gains 2.4 times your money pretty good gains to be in my opinion but if we get to 500k let's just see how that looks 500k my god that's 1165.8 percent upsides 13 times your money almost. Wow. I mean, bold assumptions, but with respect to the supply and demand logic perspective, I think that could be fair. That could make sense. We we'll, we'll never know. So we'll see about the whole global utilization and adoption look like going forward. So that's it for today with respect to my technical analysis and some of the insight, looking at the psychology behind how investors are trading at the moment with respect to this flash crash. Uh, hopefully you guys find this helpful. Um, please, I appreciate you guys if you hit the subscribe button, that like button, and also that bell notification as well. Please watch out for the next video. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.